Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Tom. Today I'm doing the video because Greg's out getting a tune-up. So I'm going to help you the best as I can. Probably just as good as Greg. Today we're front of, standing in front of a 1957 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop. It's undergone a complete restoration. And when I say from top to bottom, the bottom looks just as pretty. Look at all the light bezels, the chrome, all the trim, the bullets up top, everything looks amazing. Looking down the side of this car, you don't see any blemishes at all. Very beautiful fit and finish. Let's check out the interior of this beautiful ride. Check that out. Nice stock looking one. Remember, we are non-consignment at Vanguard Motor Sales. We'd love to help you park your dream in your driveway. Check out the back. Look at the chrome around the, the fins, the trunk. Everything, the bumpers, gorgeous. Very nice clean trunk. All the trunk jam looks beautiful, the lip on the trunk. Those are, those are the things that stand out to me when I'm looking at a restored car. Let's take a look down the passenger side now. Same fit and finish. Beautiful, beautiful. This one has a 327 Chevy small block. It has power front disc brakes and three speed manual on the column. They're a lot of fun to drive if you haven't driven one. So give us a call today. My name is Tom, 248 974 9513, and let Vanguard Motor Sales help you park this Bel Air in your driveway. All right, guys, let's take this beautiful 57 Chevy for a ride. Three on the tree. I haven't driven one in a while, but it's kind of like riding a bike. You do it once, and you're right back on it. Phenomenal restoration on this car, from the dash to the gauge lenses. All the gauges work. The radio does not work. We don't fix radios. If it was mine, I'd probably throw something cool in here, shake the windows a little bit. All the stainless, the glass, the mirror, everything's in awesome shape. This one is powered by a 327 and then three speed manual. Just an awesome ride. Remember to visit our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can see all our current inventory, pricing, the whole nine yards. If you need help parking this dream in your driveway, give me a call. I'm available seven days a week. My name is Tom, 248-974-9513. We can help with your shipping needs as well as financing. If you wanna fly in and check us out, you can fly right into Detroit Metro Airport. We're about 30 minutes north of there. We'd love to have you come out and check out our showroom and see all our beautiful rides. This is a pretty peppy 327 too.
Now we're going to do something that no one in the industry does. We're going to take this back and we're going to put it up on the hoist and let you check out the beautiful undercarriage. Let me tell you, this one is sharp underneath too. All right, guys, we're underneath our 57 Chevy. Uh, now, this car is restored quite a bit nicer than most of the ones you're going to see. They, this is what I would consider to be like a premium kind of type restoration. And it is a restoration, it's not a resto mod. So this one here, this does have a couple of subtle upgrades. We're gonna get to it all as we move forward. So obviously, brand new fuel tank. If you take a look at the floorboards on it, obviously they did the primer, the primer undercarriage uh, with the uh, painted black frame. All of it looks very, very nice. Uh, any little bit of water spots you may be seeing under here maybe from the uh, wet sand job that they did on the car uh, after it was painted. It looks to be a fairly recent paint job as well. So obviously, uh, it all kind of goes without saying, you're going to hear the word new a lot under here. Um, it looks like we get brand new exhaust on it. The leaf springs to me look to be new. Uh, new brake lines on it. Uh, the rear end for it is actually date code correct for the car, uh, 1957 correct. It is a 363 or 365 to 1 uh, gear ratio, open differential, drum brakes on either end of it. Looks to be like original style drum brakes. Um, brand new shocks on it, no big surprise. All the sheet metal looks good. All of the body mounts look like they have been changed. I don't see a single old one on here, so it looks to all be replaced. Um, once again, brand new looking mufflers on it. They look to be like a Flowmaster style design hub, but there's no Flowmaster on the top of them, so, uh, but looks to be like Flowmaster type. Uh, looking on either side of here, once again, floorboards look like they're in really, really nice shape. Once again, primer undercarriage. They went to the attention to detail to even put like their little ground straps on everything as it should be. So overall, uh, high, t high attention to detail. It looks very, very nice under here. And once again, this is the way that they should be. Um, we have a Saginaw three-speed transmission here, which is exactly what this car should have in it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this one is date code correct for the car as well to be like 57 correct. It's a little bit early 56, if not just a little bit early for the car, but it is exactly what this car should have in it. Now as we come forward here, we're going to get into the, a couple of little subtle changes that they've made to make the car a little more drivable. Um, the year of the engine is actually a 1962 model year. Uh, and it's actually a 327, not a, uh, a, three, a 283, if I'm not mistaken, is what this would have in it. Um, but uh, we're going to get to that a little more in a second. Uh, of course, all of these steering components, all of it looks to be new, all of it looks to be replaced. Everything is nice and serviceable with grease fittings. Um, on either end of the uh, A-arms here, you can see we've got disc brakes. Uh, this is like a little bit later model GM disc brake conversion we got going on. We have the proper master cylinder for it up top. We're going to see that in just a second. All new uh, control arm, uh, I guess, pivot points. All the bushings are new. All the nuts. I mean, this, is, this car is, is pretty darn nice, nicer than uh, you often see them. Looking up in the wheel wells, once again, very lack of water spotting, lack of dirt, any of that nonsense going on up there. I can see all of like the rubber seals and stuff like that look like they're brand new, no big surprise. Um, as far as wheels and tires go, we have the stock wheels and hubcaps. Uh, looks like a 7.5 by 14s, they are a bias ply tire, uh, just as it should be. And uh, for this kind of look, this is pretty much unequaled. I love these. And in the rear, we have a same good looking wheel and tire. Let me see if I can find the size. I believe it is the same size, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 7.5 by 14. Once again, four ply bias ply, uh, original hubcaps and rim. And then once again, if you'll just take a look up inside the wheel well, I'm seeing spot welds and clean metal uh, seams. I mean, once again, this is darn near a, a brand new 1957 Chevy. So that all being said, let's go take a look at the 327 under the hood. Okay guys, underneath the hood, uh, this is not the 283 that these cars originally came with. This is actually a 327 cubic inch engine, 1962 model year, uh, or like kind of late 1962, uh, judging by the casting date at least. Um, I've had the valve covers off of it. It does have hydraulic, uh, hydraulic valve train in it or hydraulic flat tap at camshaft with OEM style uh, uh, valve train components. Um, in between the heads, we have a Edelbrock old school, like a vintage intake manifold. I think this is like a C3D, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is going to be a predecessor to something like, like the modern uh, Performer RPMs and stuff like that. It's got the fill tube here in the middle. Um, on top of the intake manifold, we have a more modern style uh, Holley four barrel carburetor, 4160 model, 600 CFM. Um, electric choke, vacuum secondaries, uh, pretty nice drivable piece. Uh, I think these original would have came with like a Rochester 4 jet, if I'm not mistaken. Now on top of the carburetor, we have, uh, let's see here if I pick this up, modern style air filter, so they, they did away with what would have been an oil bath. Um, other upgrades include a uh, modern style or more modernized style uh, alternator on it, as opposed to the original generator that would have been on this car. 
Um, now, you heard me mention underneath that we have upgraded brakes. They have upgraded the master cylinder and the booster as well to match. Uh, this is going to be a dual pot master cylinder and, um, like I said, more modernized booster. Certainly an upgrade over the single pot that you would have originally had. We have electric wipers on this one. Um, another cool thing that this car has is, and this is the high quality uh, reproduction battery. So this is not just a topper, this is a whole battery case that what they've done is they've taken all of the, uh, you know, the lead acid type stuff out of here and put modern guts inside this battery, but it is in the old school case. So unless you take one of these caps off, uh, you'll fool just about anybody. It actually just fooled me, uh, you know, when I initially did this video. So we even have like all the old school, like OEM style hose clamps on it. Very, very clean job on it. Looks like factory style exhaust manifolds. Uh, very, very nice under the hood of this car. Very, very nice underneath the car too. Brand new brake lines, no big surprise there. I mean, overall, this is a uh, much higher than normal quality restoration. I actually really, really like this car and it has just the right amount of upgrades, but it doesn't ruin the characteristics of driving a 1957 Chevy, guys. So that all being said, uh, if you'd like to have this one parked in your driveway, if you'd like to get any questions about it, feel free to call us at the number below. Let Vanguard Motorcycles park this Chevy in your driveway, keep the rubber side down, and we'll see you guys in the next one.